This video will help you to understand why curved interfaces have different vapor pressures compared to the equivalent flat interface. If we compare the rate of evaporation of water in a glass with water droplets in a spray, we will find that the droplets evaporate faster. The droplet is an example of a convex curved interface, and it is arranged in such a way that the inner molecules are surrounded by fewer particles, which means that the net intermolecular forces of attraction are weaker than in the equivalent flat surface. With weaker attractions, the molecules require less energy to escape into the vapor phase, and so it happens more often. This can be measured as the vapor pressure being higher. So convex surfaces have higher vapor pressure compared to flat surfaces. Importantly, the Kelvin equation relates the ratio of the vapor pressure for a curved surface denoted P and its equivalent flat surface P0 to the radius R. If we consider the remaining terms in the equation as constant, then we can see that the vapor pressure of the curved surface is proportional to 1 over the radius. From this, we can see that when the radius decreases, the vapor pressure increases. Note that the interface becomes more curved as the radius decreases. For a convex surface, such as the water droplet, the radius is given a positive sign because it is measured from the liquid phase. And from the Kelvin equation, can be seen that its vapor pressure will be greater than its equivalent flat surface. As for a concave surface, like a water meniscus in a capillary tube, the radius is measured from the vapor phase and is subsequently given a negative sign. And from the Kelvin equation, it can be seen that its vapor pressure will be lower than that of its equivalent surface. Kelvin's equation can be used to explain phenomena such as droplets growth. If there are droplets of different size present, since smaller droplets have higher vapor pressure, they will evaporate and condense onto larger ones. This occurs in clouds, where droplets grow until they are heavy enough to forest rain. The same process also happens with solid or crystals, known as Oswald ripening, where large crystals will grow at the expense of smaller ones. This process could be seen in ice cream. Ice cream left in the freezer will become hard as large crystals will grow bigger, giving ice cream gritty texture. Kelvin's equation explains that small clusters of particles are unstable, and so self-nucleation, which is a phase transition in absence of a site, is difficult. Engineers overcome this limitation by introducing site for nucleation. Thus, particles and scratches on vessels wall are sites for crystallization. Boiling chips are added to liquid to prevent superheating. Also, cloud seeding technology sprays salts into cloud to enhance cloud formation and rainfall.